In this question, the sine of x is 6 tenths, and they want to know the cosine of y. Now remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so if the sine of x is 6 tenths, we could say that this is 6, and that's 10. And cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so the cosine of y would also be 6 tenths, because the adjacent is 6 and the hypotenuse is 10. Now this brings up an important rule that shows up a lot on the SAT. When x plus y add up to 90, the sine of one of those angles is always going to equal the cosine of the other angle. And hopefully from this example you can see why that would be the case. The opposite of x is the same as the adjacent of y, so the sine of this equals the cosine of that. Now this question looks different, but it's based on the same principle we just saw in the last question. They tell us that the sine of x is 4 over 5, and they want to know the cosine of 90 minus x. I'm just going to draw a triangle to get a sense for what's going on here. So let's say this is x. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so this would be 4, this would be 5. It's a 3, 4, 5, so we know this is 3. Now they want to know the cosine of 90 minus x. Well, 90 minus x just kind of flips you over to this other angle. Like let's say x was 20, 90 minus 20 would be 70. Uh, so it just is referring to the other angle. And like we learned in the last question, the sine of one angle is going to equal the cosine of the other when those two angles add up to 90. So if the sine of x is 4 over 5, the cosine of 90 minus x is also going to equal 4 over 5. When you're comfortable with this principle, you can answer some questions really fast. So here they say, if the sine of x degrees is a, which of the following must be true for all values of x? Well, remember, if this angle is x, the other angle in the right triangle is 90 minus x. So the sine of this is going to equal the cosine of that. So if sine of x equals a, cosine of 90 minus x also equals a. So that's just c. So here, when you see that the sine of a equals the cosine of b, Based on the other questions you've done, you'd think, okay, well, it must be that situation where a plus b equals 90. So you can just substitute here. a is 4k minus 22, and b is 6k minus 13. That all has to equal 90. 10k minus 35 equals 90. 10k equals 125, so k has to equal 12.5. Here's another variation of this concept. So it says, point W, not shown, lies on RT. Okay, we can put it anywhere. I'll just put it right there. What is the value of the cosine of R, S, W, so this angle, minus the sine of W, S, T, so this angle? Well, now when you look at it, you can see that these two angles add up to 90. And we know that the sine of one angle is going to equal the cosine of the other angle when those two angles add up to 90. So if you were to subtract those two things, you just get zero because they're equal to each other. 